the society should be a role model for the uneducated girls. They should show the society that there are no harm in educating a girl child by the character that they display in the society. Fourthly, talk shows like this one should enlighten the society that there are no harm in educating a girl child, that educating a girl child helps her to be at her best, brings out the potentials in her, mm -hmm. and improves her to impact the society with it. That the girl child is not just meant to be in the four corners of the kitchen, not just meant to be in the four corners of the bedroom, but if you give her a chance and you educate her... Mm, she's definitely going to be in the four corners of the world. Yes. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Uh, globally, education is a fundamental human right of every child, whether a boy or girl, everyone able to acquire basic education. It's being considered the bedrock to any development of any society. It's being said very often that if you educate a girl child, you educate a nation, and this is because she will turn out to be a useful citizen. Remember, the purpose of the initiative is to basically give a capacity building, training the mind, and any other thing progressing in nature that can actually help a girl child to become a woman, which means. Okay, here we come to the end of today's episode. Special appreciations to our guests and our viewers. Thanks very greatly for being on the icon, and thank you so much for being with us on the program coming to you from the television channel of the B. TV, Borno Radio Television Authority, in collaboration with Elbir Global Foundation. I remain my humble self, Zanna Babakura, your host in the studio. Thank you once again, and see you next time. Joining us, I'm your host, Adam Abdullah Suleiman from El Kelimi College of Islamic Theology. Today, we are going to talk on drug abuse or drug addiction. It is known that there are over 100 million drug users around the world. And the problem has been increasing at the alarming rate, especially among the young adults under the age of 30. Drug abuse may lead to social, legal, physical, emotional, and job-related problems. Our valued invited guests are here to share their views on the topic to be presented. And there are Isla Mukhtar Yunus from El Kanami College of Islamic Theology. Aisha Mamamud from Medugui Capital School. We are starting with Isa Mukhtar Yunus from El Kalimi College of Islamic Theology. Isa, what is drug? Well, drug has different definition that is according to different uh, standards. But referring to me, I'm going to uh, you know define it according to the standard of pharmacology. That is to say that drug is a chemical substance, typically of non-structure which when administered or prescribed to a living organism, it produces a biological effect and so as to promote well-being. You mean drug may be prescribed to a living organism in order to produce a biological effect so as to promote a well-being? Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Isa. Hassana from Meiduguri Innovative School. What do you have to say on this? According to Oxford Dictionary, drug is an illegal substance which when inhaled, smoked, or swallowed in all form. Also, drug is used as medicine or used in medicine. Drug is a chemical substances that change a person's behavior when inhaled, smoked, or swallowed in all form. You mean drug is a substance used as medicine? Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Hasana. Aisha Momman Modu from Meiduguri Capital School. Do you have different view or views on what they have spoken on? Yes, of course. Drugs are substances other than food which alters the way the body functions. The World Health Organization in it defined drugs in its broadest sense as any chemical entity or mixture of entity other than those required for the normal functioning and maintenance and maintenance of the body. So you mean drug can alter the biological function of a body? Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Aisha. Hasana, can you tell us what is an abuse? Yes, according to the Oxford Dictionary, drug um, an abuse is the improper way of doing something or used to bad effect or bad purpose. For example, misuse of an office by an officer 
it's a good example of an abuse, and also drugs. So you mean to misuse an office by an officer is example of drug? Yes, that is what's happening in Nigeria today. Oh, thank you so much, Asana. Getting to Aisha, Aisha, having known the meaning of drug now, what is drug abuse and when drugs said to be abused? Drug abuse is the use of drug for non-medical use or, or taking drug without medical prescription. It also includes taking of drug in excess or over an unjustifiable period of time. Drug abuse causes serious physical, physiological, and social harm to the user. Its effects could be really devastating. For instance, when an individual decided to take drug on their own without medical prescription, that person is said to engage in drug abuse. It's said to engage in drug abuse the more drug begins to affect a person's life, the more likely that person has crossed the line of drug use to drug abuse or addiction. So, for example, uh, taking a drug uh, without a medical prescription is a drug abuse? Yes, of course. Thank you so much. With those explanation, we understand the difference between drug and drug abuse. Isa, what are the causes of drug abuse? Well, here in Northern Nigeria, let me say, the main factors that uh, promote the likelihood of falling into this enigma are as follows. Number one, we have the trauma. Clearly, stress and trauma are linked to addiction in the sense that early trauma impacts someone's life or let me say, impact person's life to cope with stress. Uh, when stress becomes unbearable or overwhelming or even frightening, it uh, often leads to uh, addiction. And then secondly, we have mental illness and we also have uh, low self-esteem, and we also have poverty, we also have uh, uh, loss of loved ones, that is according to the, or let me say that is due to the insurgency we are having here in Northern Nigeria, especially here in Borno. And we also have uh, relationship problems, and we also have uh, uh, chronic pain, or let me say medical condition. We have listened to Isa on the causes of drug abuse. Aisha, what are the consequences of drug abuse? Drug abuse goes along with many adverse consequences which affect the user, his family, and even the society at large. Dreams are harried, and man's power is wasted as addicts struggle to sustain their deadly and dirty habits. On the other hand, activities of Nigerians at home and abroad involve in day involved in drug trade have been denting the image of Nigerians across the globe. Nigerians are embraced and humiliated at airport in different part of the world. In different part of the world, socially criminal activities socially criminal activities Thank you so much uh, Aisha. Hasana as you know, prevention is better than cure. Yes. What are the prevention of drug abuse? Yes, there are many prevention, but I have to mention but few. Okay. Um, teaching drug usage is um, as part of school curriculum. Involvement in school extracurriculum activities such as sports may keep people out of drug abuse. And Counseling the drug abusers of its consequences to prevent the future drug abuse and also legal sanction. So, you mean extracurricular activities as sports may keep people out of drug? Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Hasana. Well, viewers, we have benefited a lot from our dear guests sharing their views on drug, drug abuse, causes, consequences, and it is prevention. No matter the rate of depression, no matter the level of anxiety, abusing drugs is not a right choice. What remain are the possible solution to this menace? Isa, what are the possible solution to this menace? Uh, to talk about the solution, as of last year only, 15% of the adults has been reported, that is around 14.3 million people has been reported to be drug addicts. That is a considerable level, you know. And, uh, 
when talking about the solution uh, here in Nigeria, we have to mention the government, we have to mention the law enforcement, we have to mention the government, we have to mention the law enforcement uh, agencies. Okay. That is to make sure that all that harmful substances are cleared out, or let me say washed out of the country. If not com uh, completely, let it be partially out of the country and, uh, you know, like to prevent future importation. Thank you so much, Isa. Hassana, what are your own contributions? Yes, stick measures. Stick measures should be taken to regards to people who are selling um, drugs that are prohibited by laws. Also, um, government and the traditional rulers have have um, a vital role in educating people um, on drug usage. Thank you so much, Hassana. Aisha, what do you have to say, finally, on what they have spoken or said with regard to the remedy, I mean the possible solution to this menace? Well, government and community leaders should educate people on dangers and effects of drugs. For example, example of a governmental agency is the National Orientation Agency. It enlightens people it airs jungle on both radio and TV. We should show compassion to drug abusers because when they see people caring for them, they may change. Since broken home and family conflict has been identified as one of the causes of drug abuse, religious, government, and community leaders should provide a marriage counseling for couples before marriage. Thank you much more, Aisha. Well, viewers, I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed the show. This is where we draw the curtain of this production of our program, Talk Show, courtesy of Elbir Global Foundation in collaboration with television section of BRTB Maiduguri. I hope you keep a date with us for yet another episode of program. I remain Adam Abdullah Suleiman. Thank you once again everyone and peace be upon you thank you for once again joining us on today's episode of this hip-hop making talk show i'm your host zana babakura i feel deeply honored to have with me in the studio today our guests our erudites the galaxy of intellectuals who will be sharing their overall opinion on the topic sub themed girl child education initiative gcei i do have by my right yusuf garbazongo from one of the renowned institutions medjugri capital school Yusuf, you are welcome. Thank you so much. And by my left is Stephanie Cyril Eze, still from Medjugorje Capital School. Stephanie, you are welcome. Thank you for having me. And next to her is Abba Ali Hamidu from an institution whose students exhibit a positive outlook and attitude in every activity, Medjugorje Innovative School. Abba Ali, you are welcome as Thank well. You. As this is a broad topic of discussion that covers many important concepts and concerns, we do want to address as many questions as we can, but then when I think of time constraint, I just feel like, let's create time. I know Yusuf is equal to the tax. Yusuf, <laughs> help us create time. No, you can't create time. You so can't, good. Stephanie, can you? Yes. Are you abiding? Okay. Let us not waste too much time. Let us manage time yes. since you guys failed to create time. Now, we all are concerned about this topic that is exerting its influences in so many ways, and I believe it should be considered the most political topic in the world. Yusuf, as a student of Great Insight, I would like you to help us know who a girl child as a term is. Uh, a girl child, in an explanatory way, I can say a girl child is what I call a gift. Mm -hmm. A gift to her family and a gift to the world. Do you know what the content of that gift? I do really want to know. The content is nothing but what the family and the society wants it to be. So individuals might say a girl child is only meant to be at home mm. or to be in a husband house. And she would be, mm. because that is what they think their gift is supposed to be. But what if we say what our gift to be a productive self to our family and the society? Then surely she would be. She would be. Sure. Because that is what we want our gift to be. So my definition for a female child is not only based on her gender, but also how she's been handled mm -hmm. and prioritized by the family and the society. Thank you so much, Yusuf. Let me hear from Stephanie. Well, 
A girl child is a female person. She's a biological female offspring. She can be a girl, a daughter, a mother, a wife, an auntie, etc. Thank you, Stephanie. And Apaili. A girl child. A girl child, according to the dictionary, or uh, so on, a girl child is a biological offspring between birth to a teenage. But here, we, in this aspect, we mean a girl, here a girl child is not only from zero, from mm. birth to 18 years old. She is our mother, our aunt, our sister, and so on and so forth. And I know who a girl child is according to your own definitions. Thank you so much. Education, I believe, is a word that we hear every day. You know, it has different parastatus. You hear of ministries of education, you hear of commissioner of education, you hear of education bodies, education sectors. What is the concept of education, if I may ask Yusuf? Okay. Uh, education is a gateway to success, mm. which is achieved when we get some basic qualities, like attitudes, skills, and knowledge which will help us to lead and utilize our lives properly. Like the knowledge and the skills, mm. it can help in giving us more awareness, making life better, and also help us to explore our own thoughts and ideas, thereby making some positive difference. And then the most important part of knowledge, which is the part of education, which is the attitude. The good attitude a truly educated person acquires can help him to, ask, to have some kind of great behavioral qualities, like leading others to the part of success, mm. behaving in well manner all the time, you will just get to realize that his or her life is adjusted in the best way. Mm. Same so, as to education sector. Yes, of course. So education is just simply what we acquire by reading, practicing, and experiencing. True, is what we acquire by reading, practicing, and experiencing. Having known you two different terms, Education and a girl child, how far do you get to know, know the notion of girl child education? A girl child education is the strategy of development which involves educating our girl child to a better life. That's what I want to say. Thank you so much, Abaeli. Still getting to Yusuf, putting into consideration the education of a girl child in our contemporary society, what do you think is most responsible when it comes to people discouraging girl child education? What are these factors affecting their education? Okay. The factors affecting a female child education can be in so many different ways. Like for example, the major one is poverty. Mm. When a girl child is unfortunate that her parents are poor, then their main aim will be money to survive instead of money to send their children to school. So poverty plays a major role in stopping a female child from being mm -hmm. educated. You know, like when a situation warrants in a family where the one is a boy and the other is a girl, you know, it's most obvious that the boy is being sent to school and the girl is neglected. Yes, like in other families, they have this ideology. Mm -hmm. Maybe even if they are rich, some families have this uh, ideology of saying mm -hmm. a female child is not supposed to go to school. Because they think the input a female child can bring to the family economy mm. can never be that so high. Mm, you know, so they feel like, you know, she's just a girl. Why yes, she, she can contribute less. Mm. So they consider it economically unwise to send their female children to school. So this is a family factor that also affects a female child education. And also there are some parents mm. that think that sending a female child to acquire knowledge is low reflecting their cultural norms. Mm. So they think by letting her be educated, she might fail her perception of being a better mother and a wife. You know, some will even feel it's even a stigma for other people. Yes, it might be in form of stigma. So these are just the family factors that, factors that might affect a female child education. And also when we come to the society, you know, more especially in rural societies, there are some people that have the instinct of saying a female child going to school contributes less to her family. Mm. and as well the society, which they are also wrong. And also in organizations, companies, and factories, mm. the ideology some people have that a female child or a woman can never be as dedicated and contributive to uh, a company or a factory mm. as a man. So, which leads to systemic gender bias that disempowers women. Mm. 
so this is return neglecting their child education. yes that's lead to neglection of their the news of i learned that there are some cultures or culture plays an effective and a major role in bringing about discouraging girl child education but then do you believe that there is something like outdated cultures and traditions something about outdated cultures or traditions mm. uh, I, this is something we are not supposed to even consider at all because there are some people that even think that uh, it's even part of the religion stopping a female child from being educated which is not mm. let's take for example the two major religions right here christianity and islam mm. none of these religion mention that a female child is only meant to be at home True. more to that in islam a uh, hadith even emphasized that every male and female child to mm, seek for knowledge. True, 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 so true. we cannot let that to be a factor affecting a female child education. These factors, we need to eliminate them even in their list. Sure, truly, we are going to definitely eliminate them. Thank you so much, Yusuf. Uh, Girls generally in our society play multiple roles that go beyond numbers and statistics. Stephanie, I believe, can tell us more about these roles. Stephanie, enlighten us on the roles of a girl child. A girl child is a home caretaker. She uses her motherly instinct and skills to take care of the home properly. I remember how my mom would give me a first aid treatment whenever I had injured myself, even before I could see any doctor. I also remember how my mom would make a meal timetable just for the management of the food stuff at home. And she always makes sure that we have a balanced diet at home. My mother, or I would say every mother in the universe, makes a house a home. Mm. Although this one might sound funny, but the first school of every child is on the lap of his mother. True. If you have noticed, a child that has a mother does extremely well at school that those that don't. Mm, it's most obvious, true. Women undeniably contribute to the society's transition from preliterate to literate. In the early age a stage of Islam, um, women fought side by side with their men, and in some cases, even fought bravely. We can remember our great and renowned queen, um, queen, um, queen Amina from Kaduna State, Zaria, mm -hmm. and her great conquest. Women have been, and are still are being very great Saints, scholars, poets, mm. writers, leaders, reformers, administrators at all fairs of life. Women have multifaceted assets to influence the cultural environment by engaging in activities such as bead making, creative art, um, hairdressing, cultural dance, catering, etc. A woman that impacted the society through her creative art is our very renowned Ladi Kwali. Mm, Women are mothers of a nation. They train up their children in a civil manner, and those children grow up to be members of the society, therefore reduces the chances and rates of social vices such as kidnapping, armed robbery, ki um, stealing, killings, and deathiness in the society. Those are a few roles. Indeed, these are just in multiples that one cannot even mention. They are just up to infinity. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Getting to Abba Ali. Emphasis on girl child education is yet to reach its full potential. We'd like you to help us know the importance of educating a girl child. The importance of girl child education cannot be mentioned. Mm, but I can mention First, the three girls. Educated girls can bring an awareness of the importance of hygiene and health. Through education, they can lead a healthy lifestyle. The women that are educated can cater for their children better. Second, dignity and honor. The women that are educated are now looked upon dignity, honor, and respect. Mm. Third, educated girls can make the country's future brighter and made and better. For example, we can take a perfect example from the Minister of Finance, which is Zainab Adam, mm -hmm. and also the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management, who is Sadia 
Saria Omar Farouk. Last but not the least, the, country, the, the, the country's economy can grow faster if more and more women mm. become financially strong, thereby reducing poverty. You know, it's all about bringing development to the country, India and in our various societies. You know, this is just an enlightenment that makes me even wish I'm um, having a girl child. You know, it's even something very proudly for you to have, for, for a man to present someone, you know, as his daughter, his wife, or his mother, as a doctor, an engineer, a scholar, or holding any of these high profile offices, just bringing about societal development. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Abba Ali. We are coming to the end of today's program, but then I believe to every challenge or program, there must be a solution. Stephanie, we